what, what we did was we recovered two steel test buttons from uh, Bomber Titanic. The first one was from the stern section just below the huge resuscitating engines. The second one was from the port side well deck. And uh, in each case, what happened was Herc would go down to the, uh, to the site and the robot arm would come out, grab the platform, bring it up, and then put it into a biological box, which was on the side of the ROV. Um, and then the lid was closed down, and the box went back into Herc. Then Herc was brought back up onto the deck, and then I'm, I go out, and the biological box is brought forward and open. Well, when you open the box, it's full of water from the deep ocean, very salty water. And so we took it in turns to siphon this very salty water out of the box. And then the platform could be lifted up. When we were at the 2004 Titanic, uh, they bring back two of the test platforms, one from the stern of the ship, right in front of the uh, reciprocating engines. The other was on the port side of the well deck. And what we've done is we've just protected it in uh, a plastic bag. And so I have to cut open the bag. And like red green, we use lots of uh, duct tape in order to protect the uh, platform itself. Now, once we've broken this open, it means we have to begin to work on the uh, platform. This is the float that uh, enables the robotic arm of the Herc to grab there and lift the platform and put it into the biological box. There is the information about the platform. This was the one that was at the stern of the ship. These are mild steel coupons. These are notch tough, and these are strong steel coupons. Controlled, twisted, twisted and tempered, hammered, hammered and burnt. All range of uh, steel coupons. And uh, the top one here is a twisted and tempered. And uh, then the next one is hammered. The next one is uh, twisted and tempered, twisted. So the difference between these two is this one was heat treated. And yet when you look at the rustical growths between these two, there's very little difference. So in other words, the rusticles grew as happily on this one as on this one. And then we come down to the next set of uh, steels. In this case, this is the strong steels. And we see that we still get most of the growth on the twisted steels, whether it was tempered or not. The same thing for the mild steels. You've got more growth where the steel is twisted. So that means that on the uh, Titanic, where the steel has been twisted, you can expect to see more rustical growth. And it's interesting that uh, the stern section of the ship came down much harder. She smacked into the floor at somewhere about 50 miles an hour. And there was a lot of twisting of the steel and it is there that the rusticles began to grow. It is there the rusticles began to grow also because the refrigeration rooms were there. The food was there. And we did some calculations in 1998, and it looks like about 15 tons of carbohydrates and 5 tons of protein and 4.5 tons of fat. And that was there and available for the microbes as soon as the ship was on the floor. So the first growth, not necessarily of rusticles, but the first growth of microbes were right there at the beginning. And what is fascinating is last year, in 2003, this rusticle did not exist. This rusticle, which is about four inches long, grew between 2003 and 2004. That's at least a quarter of an inch a month. The microorganisms, the rusticles, are able to capitalize on any electrical changes that are occurring between these individual steel coupons. And this is an area of science which is very new, very exciting, and still to be explored. 
at the Titanic site today, we still have two of these platforms. One of them is sitting right by the stem at the front of the ship, and uh, the other one is by the well deck. So those two are still there for us to bring back. 